Hey, chartered accountants, or should I say, future chartered, someone who's aspiring to be a chartered and will be soon reaching that goal. So, in this particular video, we are dealing with one of the CA final subjects. It's one of the most difficult, uh, dreaded, yet one of the most practical subjects, and really, really interesting subject, which is one of my personal favorites, strategic financial management, SFM. And in this, the first topic that we start today will be a beautiful beautiful topic which is forex trust me you are going to fall in love with the subject and this particular topic so let's start now how are we going to do this so we start with the practical questions because let's face it this is the place where a lot of us have issues while solving the questions okay so this would actually help gain an understanding on how to do it okay so take your pen and paper and let's start this Next question Price of the bond before the year of maturity is 5,000. So this is your initial investment, the price at which you've purchased the bond. Okay. Redemption value is also given to you, 5 to 5, 0. So how much will be the capital gain? $250, right? Interest, $350 directly given to you. Interest is nothing but income on the investment, which is bond that you've purchased. Dollar appreciates by 2%. Calculate the rate of return. Simple sum, solution. Rate of return is equal to can you give me the formula total income on the investment divided by total investment investment but which investment the initial investment right the value of at which you purchased the bond in this case so the income is in the form of coupon interest Plus capital gain is also there because we have been given the redemption value as well. And this entire thing divided by initial investment again. Multiply this entire thing by 100 because we are looking at rate of return in terms of percentage. Okay. This you get is $350 plus $250. Entire thing divided by $5,000 initial investment multiply by 100 do not forget that this comes to 12 percent now this particular return is your rate of return is for a u.s investor okay is for the u.s investor but for a non-us investor the return will change in case return will change in case there is a fluctuation fluctuation can be appreciation can be depreciation okay fluctuation in the dollar rates right so here there is a fluctuation if you see in the question dollar appreciates by 2% okay dollar is appreciating by 2% so your entire income including the principal will increase by 2% principal is going to increase interest is going to increase capital gain will also increase right therefore 1 plus the original return how much was it we calculated 12% this entire thing will increase by 102% or we can say 1 plus 2% 1 1 I've taken the base 1 principal 1 okay i have to deduct this principle because what i want is just the rate of return okay this thing multiplied by 100 this comes to 14.24 percentage you'll have this doubt that why the appreciation or depreciation in dollar in this case only affects a non-us investor right so a brief explanation i'll provide for that a very brief right so say a non US investor who is an Indian for example we'll say that an Indian so his currency will be rupee right this is his currency but the bond that he has invested in is denominated in in dollars right that is the dollar that is the principal amount on this 
principal amount on this there is the returns okay returns in the form of interest and capital gain that we just calculated above okay all these things all these things are also denominated in dollars okay but his currency is rupees because he is a non us investor correct now he gets this return and the principal base is also there so principal base is dollar 5000 plus total returns of interest and capital gain i think it is 600 total totally he gets 5600 dollars but since his own currency is in rupees he will have to convert this into rupees right convert into rupees okay so therefore when he when he does that and if the dollar rate appreciates for example initially the rate was say rupee by dollar the rate was 78 and later on the dollar appreciates rupee by dollar it becomes 80 dollar appreciates means what the rupee is depreciating if you notice this this means rupee is depreciating dollar is appreciating so at this appreciated rate he will get he will receive more right receive more So this five thousand six hundred dollars into rupee by dollar eighty. Okay, this is the brief understanding of why a non-US investor is affected by appreciation or depreciation in the dollar rate, and not the US investor. Okay, because his rate, uh, his currency, which is dollar, which is same as the currency of the investment that he made in the bond. Okay.